Hey everyone, my name's Rena, and I'm about to answer one of the most common questions I get on this channel. Most of the time, people ask me, how do I convert a VRM file that I got off of Booth into a VROID file, a .VROID file? So one of my most watched videos recently is this one right here, and people ask me this question all the time. So let's get into it so I can show you how this is done. We understand that VROID can be expensive if you want to get a custom made model. Um, so the whole purpose of purchasing on Booth, whoever you're buying from, the artist is giving you the work that they spend hours on at a discounted rate because they just felt like it. They wanted to be nice and give you something that you can just purchase very easily. We're not trying to give you work that you're trying to edit. Um, but if you really do feel like you need to edit the character, just be mindful and be grateful to the creator that made it. And um, you won't be able to make all the changes, but you can make most of the changes. Um, so let's show you how to do that. Also, I apologize for my voice. It's kind of gone. Um, I just worked a lot this weekend, this past weekend, so it's, it's very very choppy so my voice might go in and out throughout this video I apologize but let's get into it all right so let's say you're on booth and you want to purchase GGK so you bought this character and you want to get this character model now with editing it you're gonna need to or to import this into Vroid you're gonna need to have two softwares ready um, actually really yeah, two, you're gonna need two softwares already, which is obviously Vroid for one of them, and then Unity for the other one. So I will put a link in the description down below to set up your Unity, because um, you're gonna need the Unity uh, Vroid file for that one. But just a reminder or um, disclaimer: when you are editing the editing these files, you're only gonna get the character model, like their base model. For their, their skin textures and their clothing but you won't get the hair texture I mean you will get the hair texture but you won't get the the design of the hair itself that you would have to purchase separately uh, which I didn't know until recently so that's a heads up to you guys hence why I have it both separate so if you want to do that you would have to buy the two separately so let's go over into unity so I already have my unity set up I am um, I don't believe it really matters which unity version but I'll send up, put a link in the description uh, for the this file type up here um, and then you're gonna click onto that once you get that downloaded you're gonna import your model all right so we're gonna let this load and create a prefab of GGK. While this is loading, you might as well go get something to eat because it might take a while. All right, so now that you've loaded your downloaded your character model into Unity, um, I just placed the character model here um, just for visual purposes, but it won't have anyone in the screen or have anything in the screen other than the blue and gray uh field so you're gonna go to your file i just have to find mine hold on let me just close this there we go um obviously you're not gonna have as many as i do just because i do this on a regular basis you're gonna go to your character's name dot texture you're gonna open that up you can see that you have all your files you might have yours displayed on the bottom i just prefer to have my project file on the left hand side um makes no difference but you're gonna click on one of the textures. As you can see, I have the tongue one. And then you're gonna click, uh, right click on it and then show in Explorer. So that's just gonna pull up its file, physical file. So then you're gonna have all these uh, texture files with your character. So basically now all you have to do is go back into Vroid and you're gonna basically start almost from scratch just replacing all those textures that you got from unity into vroid so basically you'd be starting a new character 
because the whole point of you doing this is probably because you want to edit it, so you might as well start a new character. And then you just go to textures here, and then you replace all those textures that you just uh, found in the file for their correct corresponding texture. So basically, if you're having a hard time knowing which one's what, go back and forth with Unity. It's a kind of a long process, but you gotta do what you gotta do. That's pretty much it. And I hope that has finally answered a lot of your questions. I know I get this question quite often, so I hope this has helped in any way and form. If you did, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.